you can change the format of VirtualBox disk images just by cloning the medium and specifying the format that you want to output. We'll switch over to our command line where we have the VirtualBox manage tool. And we also have a virtual disk image to use as an example. The formats supported by VBox Manage can be found by using VBox Manage and then looking for the word format inside of the help. So if we use the grep search tool here and we're going to search for format and we'll see that the format flag supports the virtual disk image, which is the native format of VirtualBox, VMware's VMDK, and Microsoft's VHD virtual hard disk. So with that, let's say that we wanted to convert from the BDI and we wanted to go to the Microsoft format so we could, for example, import into Azure to run the virtual machine in the cloud. We're going to use VBox Manage, and then we're going to clone the medium. We want to specify the name of the current disk. We'll use the VDI as the example here. And then we need to specify a new name for our disk. Or we could also specify a different location. And then we're going to put in which format we want, which we said was going to be the VHD format. So we're both cloning the disk, but also reformatting into the new format at the same time. You hit enter, and then this process will start. It's gonna depend on the speed of the computer that you're working on, plus the size of the disk that you're cloning as to how long it'll take. Typical times for around 30 gigabytes are gonna be five to seven minutes. And of course, if the disk is bigger, it's just gonna take longer. Once the conversion process is done, you'll now have a copy of the new disk alongside a copy of the old disk, unless you happen to have saved the new disk in a different folder. So now we see the original copy, the virtual disk image, and we also see the new copy in the Microsoft virtual hard drive format. And it's interesting to note that depending on which format you start with and which format you're converting to, the process may go faster or slower. I've noticed that converting to the VHD takes the longest and converting to the VMDK seems to go the fastest. But in any case, just wait it out and eventually the process will complete and you can use your new hard disk image.